Let's talk about the earnings story. Obviously, very strong performance. We saw profits up to $5 billion com coming from a loss in 2009. Obviously, we know 2009 was a very strange year for the sector. But what's the growth story behind that strong number performance? Yeah, basically for Sterling Bank, yes. As you had said, 2009 was um, a difficult year in the banking industry where we had to clean up um, all the loan book and all that. But for, for, to, for 2010, what the bank had focused on was that in 2010, we came up with recovery initiatives, and so we made a lot of recoveries in 2010. And also, aside from that, our funding costs dropped by about 33%. Yeah, there were supportive government policies, which saw interest rate regime coming very low. So our funding costs dropped by about 33%. Mm -hmm. So that improved our margins. Um, similarly, also, we had operational efficiency. We came up with good initiatives to cut, cut our costs um, during the period. And mm -hmm. so, yes, that enhanced and improved our earnings for 2010. Right, let's talk about loan growth. Very strong yes. performance there as well. And yes. fourth quarter in particular, yes. some analysts point to 16% growth in Q4 yes. loan, your loan book. Where, where exactly are you putting yes. the money to work? You would agree work? with me that the first half of the year was a bit calm in terms of um, um, growing the real sector, uh, advancing credit to the real sector. Towards the end of the year, yes, what the bank saw was that part of our strategy for 2010 was that, yes, we will grow our loan book and we identified, identified areas which we felt, you know, sectors which we felt like oil and gas, which we felt that there were opportunities for us to grow and we grow our loan books in those areas. And of course, the earnings you would see um, subsequently in 2011. All right, let's talk about deposit growth as well. Very strong yes. performance as well. 25% for the year. Yes. Is that a story behind branch expansion or what exactly? Yes, for uh, deposit liability, also it was one of the strategies of the bank in 2010 to grow actually our low-cost funds. So we came up with new initiatives and yes, we grew our loan books. And of course, as you, we grew our deposits, uh, we generated more deposits. And you know, as you grow your deposits, definitely you have to grow your loan books. So that was what we did, not basically in terms of um, um, branch expansion, no. Just came up with new strategies of going around getting in those deposits, and that was what we tapped into in 2010. Obviously, big news um, surrounding Sterling Bank recently is mm. speculation about First Rand being interested in the bank uh, for a strategic investment. Mm. Can you confirm that, and what exactly, can, what exactly is the state of play on that transaction? Um, I would say that, um, yes, the bank has plans of um, actually injecting more capital into its business. I mean, that's the only way we can expand. I mean, to uh, in terms of our business growth. But yes, with um, first round, yes, discussions are ongoing. We are quite positive. We are still at the due diligence stage. And in, more information will be made available subsequently. Let's talk about the MPLs. And I think that was one area that some analysts were a bit concerned. In Q4, we saw mm -hmm. a little higher than expected provision in, in that regard. Can you give us a sense of what exactly happened there? Yes. Um, for our MPLs, um, as a bank, um, we, what we did in 2010 was that we reviewed our loan book and then we discovered that there were some that were going to show signs of delinquency. And so we felt that it was best for us to actually make those provisions. And you know, most of those loans actually would have now in 2011, first quarter, been transferred to Amcon. So in effect, we're going to have a write back and so it will be enhanced earnings for 2011. And so, so it's all it's it's good good post, good all the way. Post the Amcon transaction, where can we anticipate your MPL ratio being at? Yes, um, post the second um, tranche of the purchase by Amcon, we're like about six percent, and subsequently, of course, you know that my transferring those loans to Amcon gives me more leverage in terms of my capital position, so I can grow my loan book because my capital liquidity has improved. So with that, we should be sub five. I'm sure before the end of um, the salt water. All right, and finally, ROE at 21 percent, one yeah. of the best in the industry right now. Yeah. Uh, where where do we anticipate that going? Obviously, we can get a sense of why the likes of First Round would be interested in Sterling Bank. Where, what levels do you anticipate your ROE is at this year? Um, our ROE for the year definitely to be a, um, an improvement on what we have recorded last year despite the fact that um, we'll be getting a new capital, we intend to um, 
enhance our profitability. So we will, we will it will be much better than last year.